Hey guys, just a bit of a chat about Bitcoin. A um, couple of things to start off with. One is that I have no financial interest in Bitcoin at all, so I don't hold any Bitcoin. And nobody close to me does either, uh, although a cousin does. There is a cousin that does, but uh, I, I have no financial interest in Bitcoin one way or another. And, and good luck to them, I think. Anybody who's holding Bitcoins, I hope it works out well for you. Uh, the last time, oh, the, one more, one more statement too. Um, economics was my least favourite subject <laughs> when I was at high school. Least, my least favourite subject was economics. Didn't like it at all. So, not really interested in it. Don't usually get into discussions about it. Not really into it at all. Not in the slightest. People actually asked on the Japan channel. People have asked if we do videos about the J J Japan economy and Japan politics, and we haven't done either because. <laughs> Uh, it's just not really an interesting topic, but um, so yeah. So I, I hope the bitcoins are successful because I understand I understand why some people like the fact that it's outside the the usual money market and that it's you know cuts the banks out and cuts the big businesses out and things. So totally understand why some people are supporting it. But this video is more about that this perception or this. This idea, what triggered, I'll tell you what triggered it, was that on RT, there's that strange, strange guy that looks like a cross between a screaming queen and a vampire or something. He, he's their RT's ec economy guy and uh, economics guy. And he sits he sits in a, in a studio that looks like it's in London or something. But I don't know, he's a real freak show. <laughs> Fucking weird. But RT, um, like them a lot or, or hate them, different people have different thoughts on RT. I think sometimes they can give us a different perspective that can be useful, but they do tend, if they have lots of biases of their own, like all the other media outlets do. But there's something strange going on with the way they deal with Bitcoin. So for example, the, the only other video we've made about Bitcoin was in November last year, made a video and predict, predicting a Bitcoin collapse. And actually two months later, the Bitcoin um, value dropped to like a half or something, wasn't it? So, again, don't know much about economics, but I know enough to know about about human behaviour to know that, you know, values of such things are connected to human behaviour. So, it's inevitable that that happened. But uh, at that time, we mentioned about the RT thing, and there's a strange thing going on there. There was a video or a, a, a story that they did. And it went, it was on YouTube in about November last year and it was critical of Bitcoin. It had a really strong title, something like, you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, a fake economy or Bitcoin bound to collapse or Bitcoin. There was some, some really strong title on it on when it was posted on YouTube and it was just slamming Bitcoin. You know, the title was, and the first time I saw the video, cause it came up in my subscription. So when it came up in the subscriptions, I saw it. And here it was slamming Bitcoin, you know, and like, I don't care either way. So it wasn't really a big deal, but I noticed that it was slamming Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin's bound to collapse or Bitcoin's, you know, I can't remember what it was, but it was really slamming it. And then within, within a couple of hours, next time I looked at my subscription box, the same video with the same thumbnail, the title had been changed to a really positive Bitcoin, a Bitcoin friendly title. You know, something about Bitcoin will survive the drop or something like that. And it was a 180 degree turn. It was a 180 degree turn from suggesting that Bitcoin, the ass was going to fall out of Bitcoin and that, you know, it was a dangerous thing to be involved in, basically, to don't worry about it, Bitcoin's going to be okay. And it was the same story, it was the same video, but they just changed the title from one extreme to the other. And it was, that was really suspicious. It was like whoever wrote that original title must have believed it. And then here, here it is, they've changed the title to one that's totally opposite. Instead of saying, stay away from Bitcoin, it was saying, Bitcoin is safe, don't worry about it. Which is strange. And then since then, I've noticed that any time RT talk about Bitcoin, it's always positive. Even when, even when the ass was falling off, out of it, and was collapsing, their guys on there, always positive. And that freak show guy that, I shouldn't call him that, but I don't know, he's something creepy about him. Real creepy guy. But he... Um, he always ups Bitcoin and, and the, what triggered this video was that he was talking about banking, the banking sector and the banks and, you know, 
that sort of stuff. And in and he's sort of saying that they're not secure and that it's all a false, you know, the usual thing people say about banks and 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 you know the Federal Reserve, American Federal Reserve, and all that usual stuff that it's all just fake and it's all just paper, which is all true. But it's the game we've got that we're running with, right? So he's, he's going about how fake that is and how temporary that is, and it's all propped up with nothing real, and then and that there's no real reality to it. And then next thing he's saying positive stuff about Bitcoin in the same story. He's sort of defending Bitcoin because some people have been criticizing it. And it was like, it was, it was really sus. It was really sus because, you know, the, the same thing that can threaten currencies can also threaten Bitcoin. And I, I understand it's a different, different concept, but it's still driven by people's perception of it, you know. And, and for a guy that's it, supposed to be like an economist like that, to be sort of making out that the, the, the usual monetary system is is not as not stable, but Bitcoin is is a really odd thing because, you know, I think we, it doesn't you don't have to be a genius to know that Bitcoin is only held together by the people that, that are happy to own it, and that if people stop wanting to own it, the, the value of it will plummet. So, you know, to me, I don't know, this is a bit off topic, but to me, it's inevitable it's going to collapse. And it's not going to be through any big conspiracy or, you know, the American Federal Reserve conspiracy or the government or, you know, whoever, Illuminati, aliens, I don't know, the guy who killed JFK. I don't think it's going to be a conspiracy thing. I think it's just inevitable that it's going to collapse. It's just that it, there isn't anything backing it up. Not really, nothing of substance. And the threat is that, that people lose confidence in it for some reason. You know, I predict that something's going to happen that's going to make people lose confidence and it's not going to necessarily be a big conspiracy. It'll just be something that happens that makes it lose credibility and that people will drop it. Or they'll just start dropping it. I mean, that, those things can trigger themselves, can't they? Anyone that follows the stock market knows that. That, some, that suddenly people start selling for some reason, all of a sudden the market plummets, it can happen. And it could plummet far enough that no one gets into it again. Everybody gets burnt and everyone walks away. But what triggered this video, and, and uh, the point I wanted to make on this video is, there seems to be a lot of people, particularly on the internet, but, but in mainstream media as well, that, that, that really play up the Bitcoin thing. And, and to me it's just sus because, because usually, if, if you play up company shares or, you know, if you're in the mainstream media and you play up company shares or something like that, really, usually if you have an interest in those shares, you really have to declare it. But Bitcoin's an interesting thing. And, and, and I'm, I'm just super suspicious. I reckon that the guy now, I'm not, in, I'm not saying it's a conspiracy, but it's just that when people have a benefit, beneficial interest in something, so let's say, for example, that Mr. Vampire Face on RT, let's just say that he owns a whole heap of Bitcoins. It's in his interests to make sure that he says positive things about it, isn't it? He doesn't want to say anything that might create a bit of a run on them where people start selling them off. And the, the value drops. He doesn't want that if he owns some or if there's someone in RT, one of the bosses in RT or, you know, whoever, somebody in there owns them. And, and there's been a few times on the internet too where people have talked about Bitcoin and just something about... Not always. Sometimes it's, you can tell that they genuinely believe what they're saying, but quite often there's, there's a thing. So what I what I made this video is to say is what I do when I hear people talking about Bitcoin, and if I start to suspect that, that their judgment about it seems to be a bit skewed for some reason, is I leave a qu um, question in the comment section and ask them if they own any. So I did that on the RT video and just left a comment and said, you know, that's the, you're talking about, you're talking about Bitcoin again, it might be time to tell us if you have a, an interest in Bitcoin. So don't expect an answer. But I think if enough people ask those questions, I think we might start getting answers. I think it, it's a, probably a good question to ask, don't you think? You know, because, you know, it's all very well to talk down the mainstream types of currency and the mainstream types of... Uh, ways of doing business and what people hold as value and that sort of thing that's all fair enough and that's all healthy and so on but but talking up bitcoin too much without declaring whether you have an interest in it or not i think is a bit of a hole in the system this seems to happen a lot with technology based things where the technology outpaces the etiquette and the ethics 
you know for example emails you know sending emails and not getting answers the the, the technology of the email has moved faster than the etiquette behind it um it's, well, it's the same as formats like youtube with all the trolls and the rude assholes and so on you know the technology has gone faster than the than the, the civilized people can can keep up with so I, I suspect bitcoin might be a bit the same that it's not regulated, which is what, what the people that own them like to tell us is a good thing. It's not regulated by anybody. The governments can't control it. The banks can't control it. That's all very true. Um, but yeah, it's not regulated, which means that, that, you know, for those of you who like to, to look for conspiracies, you know, what, what it's not necessarily a conspiracy. It's a common motivation. The people who own Bitcoins want us to all think that Bitcoins are really good. It's inevitable. You know, I'd be the same if I owned a million bitcoins. I'd want to. I'd want you to think that they were really good value as well, because I would want the word to get around that they weren't. Not that anyone listens to me, but you know what I mean. If, if you were on on RT, or if you were one of these people where, you know, millions of people are listening to them, then you know, it'd be in your interest just to say positive things, wouldn't it? And you'd hesitate to say negative things, unless you're an extremely honest person, of course. You know, so maybe maybe the vampire man on RT is an honest guy. Maybe maybe he doesn't own bitcoins, and maybe he genuinely believes what he says. But the point of this video is just to encourage people: if you hear somebody talking about how wonderful Bitcoin is, ask them if they own any. Obviously, if they're slamming Bitcoin, there's a good chance they don't own any, right? But if they if they're talking up talking up the Bitcoin, just ask them if, if they answer you and say no, they don't. Well, that's good. You know, that's fantastic if they don't own them and they're not, they don't have a beneficial interest in them, they're just giving an opinion, that's good. But if they do own them, then it's good to know that when, when you're listening to their opinion. It's the same as stock market, same as anything else. When people are talking about the stock market on TV, you know, if they own the shares that they're talking about, well, you, you, it's good to know that so you know whether or not to take what they're saying seriously, you know. And we all know that YouTube's rife with this. You know, people making videos about how wonderful the Apple store is or about how wonderful Google is or about how wonderful Pepsi is. And, you know, you know, the big front page YouTubers that are that are telling us how wonderful these companies are. And you know why, you know, it's not by chance, is it? You know, hey, look at this wonderful new Google product that's worth $600 that happens to be in my hand. <laughs> it's like, yeah, right. Of course you like it. Of course you like Google Glass. Google Glass, guys. Anyway, so yeah, so that was the point of this, was just, yeah, if you hear somebody talking up the Bitcoin, let's ask them, let's all ask them, because I'm going to. Every time I hear someone talking up Bitcoin, I'm going to ask them if they own any. And, you know, some people could say it's not my business, that's fair enough, and if they want to answer and say that, it's none of your business, that's fair enough. But I would take that into consideration when I was considering what they were saying. Someone's telling me how wonderful Bitcoin is, our securities and everything else. And I say, do you own any? And they say, I'm not answering that. I'm like, okay then. And then you can weigh that up with what they just said, can't you? To get a bit more of the whole picture. So anyway, once again, open for opinions, My open for polite thoughts and opinions. They may differ. The opinion may be totally opposite and may differ 100%. But let's be polite. I had a guy start off. I had a guy start off his answer, his, his comment under one of these videos the other day with wrong. <laughs> you know, what a way, to, what a way to, to start a comment. You know, wrong. And then off he went. And it was like, I can't remember what the video was. Now it was the video. I can't remember what the video was now. And okay, um, okay. So, you know, maybe, maybe, I can't remember what the point was. It wasn't the main point of the video. It was up. It was a comment made in the video and he said he thought it was wrong. Well, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. But it's, it's a little bit of diplomacy or manners. Even, even if you don't understand the concept of diplomacy, manners, why the, why the fuck would you start a comment with wrong? You know, can you imagine a dickhead like that if you're at a barbecue? <laughs> at a barbecue and you, you, you're talking about something and, the, and some dude's just standing there and just says to you, wrong! wrong and then and then contradicts it's like you know it's just not good manners is it you know there's ways and there was ways read through the comments underneath the, any of these videos or the japan videos too there's always different opinions on there there's always people with different opinions but 
you know, at least they're civilized enough to be able to express them in a civilized way. You know, you don't have to refer, you can give your own opinion without even commenting on the other person's opinion at all. Nothing wrong with that. I think Bitcoin's wonderful. I think the vampire guy on RT is a really good man. Okay. You know, that's, that's the best way to make a comment, but start a comment with wrong. And then I <clears throat> sort of challenged that asshole on that and sort of, dude, you know, really, you know, telling me I'm wrong, go learn some manners. You know, I actually said to him, I may well be wrong. Well, thanks for telling me I'm wrong. That's good. But you're a rude asshole. <laughs> he was, he just was. Mm, anyway, so, but again, it's my channel. This is my sofa that we're sitting on here. So, you know, you, you, I'm, I welcome other people's opinions, but you know, to start with a comment like wrong, you're not going to get listened too much after you say that, is it? It's just, just rude. It's not, not necessary. It's not necessary. Anyway, <laughs> Bitcoin, that was the topic. Bitcoin, yes. Let's, let's ask them if they have beneficial interest. So again, your opinions are welcome. More videos coming soon.